Nearly 14,000 people are on the liver transplant waiting list, according to the American Liver Foundation. Experts say about 10% of those people are going to die or either become too sick for transplant before it's their turn. In Health Watch, Shelley Botat has the story of a Salt Lake City mother and her son. She gave him life, of course, and now he is doing the same. It's a surgery with a unique twist. Gwen Finlayson is alive and healthy thanks to 3D technology and an incredible gift from her son. Gwen Finlayson's autoimmune hepatitis led to cirrhosis years ago. A lot of fatigue, that really is the biggest thing, not being able to have the energy to do the things you want to do. She was on the liver transplant list. Then her son Brandon offered to donate part of his. She needed this. You know, and for the couple months of discomfort, it was well worth it. The reason why live donor is important to do before the patients get too sick is because you're not doing a full liver. You're only doing, you know, 40 to 60 percent. Gwen is petite, so Dr. Rodriguez took Brandon's smaller left lobe, which is usually done for adolescents. It's the first time it's been done between adults in Utah. The family and surgeons knew exactly how both livers looked before transplant. The team used 3D imaging to print models. The fact that we're able to kind of go over step by step, it's just so much easier than just seeing a CAT scan on a screen. Beforehand, we could see her liver, we could see my liver, and we could see exactly how they were going to cut it open. Brandon was home in five days, Gwen in nine. Both their livers grew back to functioning size. Now she is looking ahead and thankful every day. When I have milestones, when things are great, when things are going well, I try to reach out and tell him because I want him to know how grateful I am. Intermountain Transplant Services recently got a grant to create a 3D printed liver library. Dr. Rodriguez says models of donor and recipient livers will help educate patients and surgeons in training. And that's your Health Watch. I'm Shelley Botot, Local 5 News.